Hey guys, it's 8 a.m. on Wednesday the 18th of October and day one of my Australian daily vlogs. And I've got a lot to do before my flight at 9 p.m. this evening, including having a shave and having a bit of a haircut. There will be some main videos going out hopefully every Saturday amongst the daily vlogs. But in the meantime, enjoy today. From this to this, I think. I've got enough gear with me to last me a month. Goodbye, grillers. I'll see you soon. For those of you that might have missed my Australia announcement video, I'm heading out to Melbourne and Sydney for the next four weeks. Much thanks to BMW Australia, Nick and his team. I'm going to interrupt this video to tell you about the meet that I'm doing in Melbourne. I'm down here at the wonderful Melbourne BMW showroom, 209 Kingsway. And these guys are allowing myself and Paul Marrick from Car Expert to host a Q&A slash meet on Thursday the 2nd of November from 6.30 p.m. They'll be providing plenty of refreshments, alcoholic and non-alcoholic, so decide on whether you're gonna drive or not. If you are gonna drive, there'll be plenty of parking along Dorcas Street. We're gonna make it a ticketed event just to control numbers, so make sure you use the link in the description below and the pinned comment. There should be an Eventbrite link there that will give you all the information you need for the night. And this is the awesome area that Melbourne BMW have given Paul and I for the evening. It's just off the side of the main showroom. It's a lovely space. We're gonna have some awesome cars in here, including an M3 CS to look at. There's gonna be a mic set up for our Q&A session. I've popped outside for this bit just to explain where the actual event is being held. That is the main showroom where we've just been. This is Kingsway, and I'm currently standing on Dorcas Street. That's the loading bay where the event is gonna be held and all of these parking bays around here are free to park on once the event starts at 6.30. There is also a multi-story car park down there somewhere. I really hope to see as many of you as possible on Thursday, the 2nd of November. Obviously the negative side of this trip is the fact that I'm gonna be away from Lou for the next month. Uh, it's hard enough going away for four or five days, but obviously I'm very used to that because this year I've probably done 50 flights already. Lou? No. Yes. What is your favourite car? My favourite car is TTRS, closely followed by A6 Allroad. Oh, both Audis. Oh, yeah. there's a TT. That's uh, timely, not an RS. Uh, uh, are we talking coupe or roadster? Oh, probably coupe. Well, mm, roadster if I'm on my own, but coupe if you're there. Well, there we go. We have Lou on camera. I can watch this back over and over and over again now on my trip. Oh, no. Yes. No. Very good, very nice. <laughs> How are you doing? Very good, very nice. <laughs> I've never had such mixed emotions in my life. I'm so excited about going to Australia, seeing my brother. Um, but I'm just so sad and devastated to say goodbye to Lou for a month. Um, yeah, it's, that was that was really hard. Got about an hour until we need to start boarding the flight. Um, I'm flying business, which I'm excited and delighted about because uh, it's a long old flight. I think it's about. 21 hours in the air, 22 hours in the air. Do I have dinner in the lounge or do I have dinner on the plane? Or do I have a bit of both? 
Probably the latter. Let's go and see what it's all about. I'm actually flying with Thai. Uh, I've never flown with them before. I always like experiencing new airlines. I'm on a 777 to Bangkok and then the wonderful A350 from Bangkok to Melbourne. I'm a bit of a av geek, in case you didn't know that already. I do love flying, although this year, as we've already talked about, I've done about 50 flights. It does get a little bit repetitive, but the long hauls are awesome. I look very green in here. Ooh. trying to get used to this whole talking to a camera in public places it's a bit weird um, but anyway we're flying from gate b47 in bmw terms is a two liter diesel so let's hope that the triple seven has more than a two liter diesel because i don't think we're ever going to get to bangkok otherwise Join me about four hours into the flight. I had an amazing meal. I'm so glad that I didn't eat too much in the lounge at the airport. Done about two and a half hours of editing and I'm just exhausted. It's about half past one UK time now. I hope you're uh, enjoying this vlog so far. I know it's something completely different and I'm trying my best to bring you all along for the journey. So I'm gonna switch this off now, get some sleep. I'll see you in a bit. I'd love uh, I'd love some coffee and um, and an orange juice, thank you. Uh, milk, no sugar, thank you. Lovely, thank you. Less than half an hour to go. I managed to finish my sim build edit. Keen to hear what you think about that video. It's a very um, vloggy style video, very much like these videos are gonna be. I haven't been to Bangkok airport for many years and I've forgotten how big it is. I've been walking for about 15 minutes now uh, and much of that on those fast travelator things. And um, I'm still nowhere near where I need to be. What I need is one of those bad boys. Finally found where I needed to be. Oh. Found it in the end, I'm looking a little bit tired, but I'm gonna have a shower and a freshen up. So looking forward to that.
that was good. I needed a shower, uh, feeling a lot better, some good food and a bit of rest. I still can't get over the scale of the size of this airport. It's just mind blowing. On the final leg, final flight from Bangkok to Melbourne, and we're on the wonderful A350. So the windows are a lot bigger. Uh, the cabin itself is actually the same layout of business. The screens, I think, are slightly nicer. Uh, cabin cool on position, please. smoking doesn't say anything about no vlogging it's really busy now in the cabin we're about 40 minutes away from Melbourne I only managed about an hour sleep breakfast was amazing in fact dinner was good but breakfast it was like a pad thai with prawns unbelievable probably the best aeroplane meal I've ever had which is saying something because I've been very fortunate and traveled on a lot of awesome flights um, much thanks to many press launches and stuff I've been on over the past four or five years. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now landed at Melbourne Airport. I have arrived in Melbourne and the sun is out and it feels amazing. I've got all my bags and uh, just about to jump in a taxi and go and pick up the first car that I have for Australia, courtesy of BMW Australia. And I think this is where I'm gonna end day one because really it's been day one and a half, about 29 or 30 hours since I left home back in the UK. I'm feeling pretty tired, uh, but the sun is giving me energy and just the fact I'm here is giving me energy and I can't wait uh, to go and pick up the car that I'm collecting and go and see my brother, give him a big hug, go and have a good Melbourne coffee because that will definitely wake me up. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you on day two. Cheers.